everybody. Thanks for joining me as we take a look at your work week forecast for May 8th through the 12th. And the weather is looking significantly better this week than it was last week. Um, this weekend ended up, especially Saturday and Sunday, ended up being really nice. We're going to see a lot of that kind of weather this week uh, to the point where even as much rain as we've had uh, by, th by Wednesday, Thursday, I'm a little concerned that uh, our uh, brush fire danger could come up again. Um, we have started to green up some of the valleys, especially some of the higher elevations still pretty uh, just starting to leaf out a little bit. So that leaves a little bit of a uh, situation where if we dry out for a few days, we do get a chance at a higher fire danger. Good thing is not a lot of wind, but we will be very dry. So um, yeah, uh, we're just bouncing back and forth between two types of weather here, it seems like lately. Not that unusual, actually, for this time of year. Like I said, we're in a very, it's very common to be kind of a blocky or a slow moving pattern. That is sort of what we're still in to an extent. Um, but this week, we're going to be in the better spot for that to happen. Um, the pattern actually is moving some right now. We're just going to be in a persistently dry pattern. So uh, it doesn't necessarily look like that right now. If you look to our west, you'd say, okay, here's a big, um, this is a, uh, uh, called an M uh, mesoscale convective complex. That's a fancy term for basically meaning a big area of thunderstorms uh, across the uh, upper Mississippi River Valley, across the Northern Plains last night. Um, and you're like, oh, that's, you know, there's a storm there, definitely. Is that going to head in our direction and give us uh, some rain, maybe some thunderstorms, things like that? We're going to show you over the next couple of slides why that is not going to happen. Um, we did get a few sprinkles last night here across Southern Vermont as a little bit of light rain moved. Uh, across it was a little uh slightly unexpected um but um we're going to take a look actually let's do that now a little closer in on satellite you can see that the clouds are basically uh what's left of the leftover little system that kind of moved through is uh, trending out to sea and that's going to clear us up and give us uh lots of dry uh, air today very uh very sunny day full sun day basically um, after we get rid of any morning fog that's kind of left over in some of the valley locations after some of that, uh, after the rain last night. And what that's going to mean is we're looking at uh, pretty pretty uh, typical temperatures for this time of year in the low to mid 60s. Um, so very pleasant day out there today. Great day to get outside. Enjoy that if you can. Um, and, uh, you know, if you get a chance, to, if you're stuck inside for a lot of the day, find a way to sneak outside for some time, even in, either in the evening or have lunch outside, something like that. It's a nice day. Really nice day. Um, and so beyond that, though, you can see these clouds are kind of sinking south, and you can see the whole uh, the clouds from last night sinking south. And really, what's going to happen here is that even though our radar, oops, sorry, looks like this, oops, and I'm behind the screen there. Sorry about that. Let me just pop myself up up front. Um, so even though this system is again kind of moving west to east, you'd be thinking, oh, maybe it's going to turn the corner right up the coast. Uh, but basically, the upper level pattern is not going to allow that to happen. So if we look at this as a picture of the jet stream, basically level of the atmosphere. So this is pretty high up in the atmosphere. And you can see we have a decent jet stream moving across the country here. And one of the things is we've got a ridge across the central part of the country and then a bit of a trough. But we're on the back side of the trough now, which is the, you know, we've been stuck in, the, on the, in this trough forever. But the back side of the trough is not always the ba a bad place to be because what happens on the back side of the trough is, uh, the weather tends to be on the east side of the trough, and so actually we're just kind of moving in some some uh, cool, relatively cooler Canadian air from the north. Except remember last week up in Canada, uh, the ridge really uh, moved way far north into into central and northern Canada, and so the temperatures up here actually aren't that chilly. And so even though yes, we are moving Canadian air in our direction, um, it's pretty typical for this time of year. And eventually the ridge is going to continue to slowly slide east. And eventually we will get um, by the end of the week into some of that warmer, some of those warmer temperatures um, as we head towards Thursday and Friday. Let's take a quick look at the storm track for where things are now. Here's why it's not going to happen. Um, it's basically going to follow that jet stream. It's sinking to the southeast and it's actually going to kind of dive south and then kind of redevelop off the coast and go way out to sea, far to our south. So we're not even really going to see any clouds in this system. So that's going to leave us with, and if you look, if you remember from... Uh, the radar uh, and, uh, and the satellite imagery of the whole country. Out behind the system out west, there's nothing for a while. Just a pretty uh, uh, low impact area of weather. And so that's sort of what uh, f finds its way in here towards the second half of the week. Um, and the ridge builds a little bit and we warm up even a little bit. Looks like the only chance um, that we have of any precipitation this week would be a couple of showers with a brief uh, frontal system that may try to approach our area on Friday. And that's not even a guarantee and I think anything that happened there would be quite insignificant. So let's take a quick look at what that means from a practical weather standpoint. Uh, basically, in general, full sun today. Tomorrow, that system will make its closest past us. Could give us a few clouds. But this is still like an almost full sun day. 
just a passing cloud. It is a little chillier tomorrow. That's probably the, the coolest day of the Canadian air headed in our direction. Um, still 60 degrees. That's um, close to normal. And for a day with a lot of sun, that is a little, we could easily be warmer. We will be warmer later in the week. But yeah, beautiful weather. Um, dew points are low basically through Thursday. They stay um, in the, uh, we're in the 30s uh, all week with the dew points, which means relative humidity levels will be uh, in the t in the teens and 20s, which definitely gives, uh, after a couple of drying out days, gives a chance for some fire danger to start to come up a little bit here by Wednesday and Thursday. Again, no wind, thankfully, or not much wind, maybe a little bit of breeze in the afternoon, but pretty limited breeze. So that kind of keeps, uh, it, that if we had breeze on either Wednesday or Thursday, I would be real concerned. But I think at the moment, um, and this is probably more for higher elevations, um, where we're a little bit further behind, lower elevations have really started to green up. And once green up happens, um, it doesn't, the, the fire danger kind of subsides quite a bit. But higher elevations in the woods, uh, green up hasn't completely happened yet. So a little bit of fire danger just means that if you're going to burn this week, one, always call your fire warden. We appreciate that. And two, um, just maybe these aren't the best days to burn. Okay. Um, and then uh, Friday, again, still pretty warm, mid-70s. So uh, yeah, by Thursday and Friday, we're up in the mid-70s. Um, sprinkles on Friday, dew points come up a little bit, so that'll knock the fire danger back. Still a decent amount of sun, I think, on Friday, although we'll be in and out of the clouds on Friday, and the sprinkles shouldn't be too significant. I don't think it's anything that should really have to cancel outdoor plans or anything like that for. So that's what's looking, well, that's what the uh, forecast is looking at, like the work week highlights, very nice spring weather this week, kind of the opposite of last week, warming trend towards the end of the week. The only chance for rain looks to be a couple of sprinkles on Friday. Humidity will be very low Monday through Thursday. Fire danger increases through Thursday. Um, and it doesn't necessarily look like we're ending this pattern and moving into a stormy pattern after this week either. The dry weather may continue. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Obviously, the further out we get, the more, the, um, the more there's opportunity for things to change. But at the moment, we look like we're in a really nice pattern, which is good because we were in a really kind of terrible pattern last week. So there you go. Um, Thanks for joining me. I appreciate the, uh, the support. I appreciate you watching my videos. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel before, I'd encourage you to do so. I'll just make sure you don't miss any of my videos. Um, and also, I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons to help support what I do here at the West River Weather Guy and uh, all the different things, the, the subscriptions and things like that. They help, uh, help make sure that I can uh, do all those things and the equipment and that stuff. So I appreciate their help. And uh, yeah, we'll be back on Friday, or I'll be back, I should say, on Friday to look at your weekend forecast. Um, if anything changes, this week's going to be pretty quiet, but uh, I still do, if there's an impactful weather, uh, try to get forecasts out uh, this time of year. And impactful during the summer means do we have a thunderstorm threat, a real thunderstorm threat, um, or do we have, um, you know, kind of uh, impactful, like lots of rain kind of effects. And as we go through the summer, it's, it's usually like tropical systems, kinds of things like that that might impact our area. So um, I know... Not as you don't watch it, most of you don't watch quite as much during the, winter, during the summer. I completely get that the weather gets a little less impactful in New England in the summer than it is during the winter. But um, I do occasionally post other videos, so um, that's a good reason to subscribe. Okay, I've rambled on enough. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you on Friday morning.